Um, hell yeah, dude. This is great, bae. I got me a vlogging R5 now. Oh, good. It's, I can actually hold this. I've been up late. Stop. I can actually, <laughs> look, I can actually hold this. And it's like, oh. What are you doing, poopy? Look at these. Wah. They're just stand maniacs. Wah. And Bowie says he wants to go to the party naked. You want to go to a party naked? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's a baby microphone. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Come on. What's up, Daddy? Oh! We're gonna go that way. Yeah, we're gonna go that way. Guys, hey! They think it's bumper cars. So I got the 16 mil. Canon R5 C Log 3 F2.8 800 ISO 1 over 60 30 frames per second Polar Pro ND filter with a lot of dust and particles on it because I didn't have time to clean it. There we go. And it's uh, September 2nd, Friday. Boys went to uh, school orientation. Then we went to Berlin, Maryland. Went to Atlantic Hotel and got ourselves some very fancy, fancy food. And it was delicious. How's this holding up? Canon R5, 16 millimeter, RF, cheapest lens you can get. Not the cheapest lens, the widest cheapest lens you can get. And I'm gonna go right on by! Is it, uh, is it going to uh, be the best lens for everybody? Hell no. This lens is good for the price, but it's got mad distortion. If you're trying to take a video of a group of friends or a picture of a group of people, maybe one person will look normal and the rest will look distorted. It's okay in the center. But as with a lot of wide angle lenses, it distorts people. The vlogging scenario, it's perfect because it's light, it's short. I put a ND on the front of it and variable Polo Pro and I'm good to go. If I don't want it to do any auto exposures for me, which I usually don't. I think for something like this, it's perfect. It's one of those function over quality type of thing where you can Talk to the camera with it about 10 inches away from your face so your arm doesn't hurt holding it. So if you want that Canon color and the 10 bit and all that stuff, boom, you have it. It's not gonna be as light as the Pocket 2 DJI, but right, Daddy wants to go to the beach. it's not that bad actually, because right. I just held it. Let's go. There was a jellyfish last morning when it came There was a board. jellyfish? There's going to be jellyfishes for a rain, but I can't... It is, it is jellyfish season, you're right. The sun's not down yet? No. It's two more hours so I can touch the sun. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I want to go in the water. Yeah. There is jellyfish right there, though. Mm. But yeah. I don't, I don't One, know if they're alive. One, two, three. They are dead, but there's a lot of them. That's a jellyfish. Is jellyfish things, Mom? Yes. Ouchie, ouch. Because we can't go past jellyfishes. Mm -hmm. It's ouchie, ouch. Because it's dangerous. Is the jellyfish just, it just dangerous. ouches you. It ouches it's you. Not, it'll just... Because they're really mad? No, they this just... That's what they do. No. That's their protection.
All right, everybody, it's the very next day. I'm looking over the footage, and I have to say I'm quite pleased with how it all turned out for just run and gun, running around with my kids, no gimbal, um, just a little Manfrotto tripod, the very light, that little light one that they make. Um, and I have to say, like, I, you know, for $300, I don't think you can beat it. I mean, 16 millimeter RF, it is native to the Canon system. It is a Canon lens. It has autofocus. Um, so those are the pros. My only cons would be the 43 millimeter thread on the front because it's pretty uncommon. So I had to buy a step up ring, which was easy to find on Amazon, a 43 to an 82 because I make all of my lenses that aren't cinema lenses 82 and that way I just have a set of 82 thread on adapters and regardless of how wide of an angle I have they won't get in the way so this is a 16 mil I don't know if a smaller size ND filter would be in the frame with this it's not in the frame my only other complaint is that it's not EF and that's not really Canon's fault why would they make it an EF right now they are moving towards the mirrorless system um, so I like EF because I like using the adapter with the ND filter, the slide-in ND filter. It's very convenient for stuff like this. Would I love that? Yes. I wouldn't have to worry about anything happening to my screw-on ND filters. And uh, anybody that uses screw-on ND filters, you know that it can be a pain sometimes. The ND filter gets lot, you know, stuck in the threads or you have a chance of cross threading if you're not careful if you're running around moving stuff around really quick that can happen so it's stuff that I don't like to deal with anymore nevertheless it makes things easier to have one I think if you're thinking about buying this lens for a vlogging scenario amazing if you're trying if you're thinking about buying this lens as a specialty ultra wide angle lens there's probably other ultra wide lenses on the market that would be better but not at this price if you need an ultra wide lens you got a canon r5 canon r6 or any other mirrorless canon camera it's kick ass all right so let me know what you guys think down below if you got something out of this please hit the like if you are into this kind of content or if you're into guitar pedals or if you're into uh pro audio make sure you hit the subscribe button i'll be putting stuff out weekly um, or we will be my wife will be joining me my kids will be joining me and I just want to say thank you okay um, cereal anyway thank you for sticking around please subscribe hit the like hit the bell we'll see you later bye bye